so much for watching Faith Live TV. Stay tuned. Join Prophet Gary King for exclusive teachings for your prophetic word in season. Deliverance, the prophetic healing ministry with exclusive interviews and life-changing moments it's destiny matters with prophet gary king the helper should be the perfect match for what this man is doing there is a way that each and every individual is supposed to go they can take away your certificate what they trained you to do no one can take away what you born for purpose is beginning to understand what is your icon their husband is the foundation for every house. When things go wrong in any house, the house the husband is accountable. Blessings to you viewers all over the world. My name is Prophet Gary King, the interpreter, an apostolic midwife to the nations of the world. You are watching Destiny Matters. We believe that today matters. Without today, tomorrow never comes. Destiny is not left to chance, but it is curved and shaped by every decision that you make every day. We are here to inspire the individual to impact nations. Destiny, Destiny matters. matters with the seven of God. Hello everyone. My name is Gracious Titi Mandiamba. Thank you so much viewers for watching our program. Please keep keep those messages coming through and the prophet is praying for you. We are very fortunate to have the prophet again into the studio. Thank you so much, prophet, for coming. You're welcome, gracious. And, and on today's show, it's going to be about let the river flow. Prophet, please tell us more about that. Okay, thank you, gracious. Uh, Listen our Bibles maybe to the book of Zechariah chapter 4. Zechariah chapter 4. We are, we are talking about the progression of destiny and how one, one, one person gets to move from where they are to where they're supposed to be. The greatest journey is not from here to America or around the globe. The greatest journey is from where you are to where you're supposed to be. Today we'll be talking more about how to go from where you are to fulfill your God-given dream and to be able to do what God wants you to do and is expecting you to do in the earth. So we're going to be reading from Zechariah chapter number 4, verse number 10. For who hath despised the days of small things? For they shall rejoice, and they shall see the plumpage in the hand of the rubber With those seven, they are the eyes of the Lord which run to and fro on the whole earth. And we can read also from the book of John chapter number 7, verse 8, 38. He said, He that believeth, as the scripture just said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. The most important thing that we want to talk about today is there are people right now as you are sitting you are quite sure of what god wants you to do you have had prophecies coming to you you have got a, you have had visions and dreams of what god is expecting from you and you have a burden in your heart and you don't know how to travel from where you are to where god wants you to be this is the right program for you today because i'm going to be sharing with you how the your destiny flows like a river where we read it first he says who is it that despises the days of small beginnings? 
One thing I want you to understand is this. There are a lot of great people, a lot of people watching me right now. You are carrying a seed of greatness on the inside of you. And you have been struggling to try to give birth to what God has deposited on the inside of you. But I want to teach you something today that will help you to become what God wants you to be. In our, in our, in our country, Zimbabwe, we are privileged uh, to have what they call today the Great Victoria Falls. But when you study the Great Victoria Falls, the history of the Great Victoria Falls, they say the Great Victoria Falls started like a small, there is a small stream and, and a spring, which was all by itself and it was in a small spit. A lot of people would pass by and look at the Great Victoria Falls in its smallness and despise it and say all oh, different things. What good thing can come out of this? What can, what can this thing become? But the best thing that the Great the, the Victoria Falls did was to believe in itself. Even though it did not look like its ultimate end, it had the power to push itself from the smallness to begin to flow like a big river. When I look at how many great things have come out of small things, I'm persuaded to think that they are not small things. When I, when I look at how many great men have come out of being small children, I'm persuaded to think that they are not children. Because what you see as small today, in the later end it shall be great. And as you are watching today, I want to, I want to declare over your life that greater shall be your end. Your, your end shall be greater. The same way that the great Victoria Falls started small, it believed in itself. The first key of the flowing of the river is the ability for you to believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Believe in what God has put on the inside of you. No one will come and partner with you in, in, if you don't believe in yourself. No one will come and help you if you don't help yourself. The greatest help you can ever give to a man is to help them help themselves. Wow. So what I want to do today is I want to inspire you so that you can be able to impact nations and that you can be able to help yourself and encourage yourself in the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So when you look at how a river flows, the same way a river flows is how people manifest in their destiny and God-given zones. Most of you have been called by God in different aspects. Some, uh, you, you've been called by God to do different things and right now you are, you are finding yourself in a fix. You don't know how to move from where you're supposed to be to where you're supposed to go. This is the program for you. The same way a river flows, we look at uh, uh, the, the, the great Victoria Falls, it started like a small spitting, a small spring. It was spitting by itself. The first step, the first step to manifesting in your destiny is to believe in yourself. Be the first partner for your own life. If God has called you as a musician, if God has called you to record albums, you feel like in, within you there's a big edge and a burning edge and a desire to be a musician, Start by, start by believing in yourself. That singing in the bathroom. Singing and make noise in the bathroom. Yes. Go, out, go out, sell some tomatoes, sell some things. Get some money to sponsor your first album, a single track. Yes. No man will partner with a vision that has not begun. Amen. You need to flow by yourself because there is no partner that will come to you until you believe in yourself. God has got a tendency of hiding greatness in smallness. Yes. He has a tendency of hiding greatness in smallness. Jesus was born in a manger. Not because it was fancy, but God was hiding Jesus from his purpose and purpose. A lot of you right now, it seems like there's no one supporting you. There's no one who's in favor of what you want to do. But like Jesus, born in a manger, God hiding him from the purpose and purpose. God would allow the heralds to come and pass by you as a rose. Why is you are still green and you have not bloomed? Because God is trying to preserve you so that you cannot be terminated prematurely. You need to believe in yourself. And flow like a river. You flow like a river. Faith of the second step is in the first step. Peter never knew that he could walk on water until he took his first step. Yes. When he took his first step and stood on that water with his first leg, God never gives you enough faith. God always gives you faith for the first step. Whatever you want to do, is it a business you want to do? Is it a mall you want to build? Is it a million dollar business that you have? Don't be an apostle carrying a briefcase or a, 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 a businessman that is walking around carrying a briefcase and never put action. Prayer is not enough until you act. There is a place for prayer and there is a place for action. You need to learn to believe. God will give you faith for the second step to take your first step. Peter took his first step when, when he realized that he was not sinking. Faith for the second step was built in his first step. Mm -hmm. Beginning is the matter of finishing. They say something once started is already half finished. You need to take the first step. Take the first step. Dare to take the first step. Dare to take the first step. Don't fear. For we have not received the spirit of fear, the spirit of love, but we have received the spirit of love, of power and of a sound mind. Yes. God has put more than you require on the inside of you. And you are like a seed. Yes. 
No one here has ever taken a seed and tried to push a roots into the seed, the stem into the seed. Everything the seed requires is in itself. Once the seed is planted in the ground, it begins to grow and begins to manifest and reveals everything that was hidden in it. Right now, you, there are many seeds I'm talking to right now. And God has put a lot of things on the inside of you, but dare to believe in yourself and flow like a river. Flow like a river. Let the river of your destiny flow. It does not matter who is despising the days of small beginnings. You might be small, having nothing, but believe in yourself. You might be sailing on the road like right now. You might be uh, doing, uh, cutting people's hair or planting people in your house. You might be selling clothes in your house. Don't, don't allow anybody to despise your smallness. Like a river, begin to flow. The School of the Gifted with Prophet Gary King. We have seven types of visions. Receive impartation today. Uh, the first level in the prophetic is the prophetic mind. Where whatever you think is accurate, right? Do you realize that the minister of Jesus was a minister of thoughts, not of sermons? Him knowing what they were thinking, he would say. He answered that. So the prophetic operates in the realm of analyzing. I can be here and know what you are thinking. We are equal in fellowship but different in responsibilities. It's easy to function in the prophetic. The first assignment he gave to Adam was to prophesy. Name the animals. Then he took him to the realm of dreams. He put him in a deep sleep. Not a sleep, deep sleep. Lazarus was sleeping but Adam was in a deep sleep. Two different things. Lazarus is sleeping. Adam is in a deep sleep. So Adam was taken into something more than death. He's taken into something more than death. This is a deep sleep. When he finds himself in a deep sleep, God begins to operate him, takes the rib, forms the woman. Who told him that this woman besides you was taken from your rib? Because when Ad God was doing that, Adam was observing. His body was sleeping. What is sleep? His body was resting, but his spirit was awake, seeing what is going on. When he came from that deep sleep, he said, she shall be born of my bone. She shall be called a woman, because she was taken from my bone. What does the word woman mean? It's taken from the word man. So it's called a woman, a womb man, a man with a womb. She's called a female, female, a male with a fetus. So she's called a fetus male. So Adam is already being taken in the realm of dreams. He's seeing this happening. We have seven types of visions. Number one, they are what are called open vision. Number two, they are what are called closed vision. Number three, they are what are called head visions. Daniel chapter 4 verse 13 says, I was troubled with the visions of my head and I saw a watcher and a holy one, which are types of angels, watchers and holy ones. Then there are what are called visions of the night. Then there are visions of the day. Then there is a, a trance. How many of you when you are sleeping you see? You see things that happen, right? If you are sleeping and you see things that happen, why don't you force yourself to sleep, to sleep so that you can see intentionally? If it takes you sleeping for you to see why can't you then put yourself to sleep so that you can see intentionally do you know that visions can be induced when jesus was tired he slept on a cushion in a boat but we find a man called jacob going to his grandfather's altar where the portal the gate of heaven was angels ascending and descending he took a stone to sleep on not a pillow who sleeps on a stone this guy was intentionally trying to induce a vision. Intentionally he wants to see. So he knows that once I'm in, 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 the, in the intermediate realm between the spirit and the flesh, once I'm caught, I do that a lot of times. A lot of times I do that. Induce visions. Sometimes I want to check which angels are here. I know which kind of button to press so that I can have an open vision. The School of the Gifted with Prophet Gary King inspire the individual to impact the nations. Now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool, which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethesda, having five porches. In these lay a great multitude of impotent folk, a blind, halt, withered, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water. Whosoever then first after the troubling of the water stepped in was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. God, you healed me perfectly and make me whole again so that I'll go back to my life. The moment the man of God stepped into the sanctuary, my God, you could literally feel the tangible presence of God. 
it was so amazing it was full of glory the arena was full of glory the holy ghost filled with the arena and the moment they start demons started leaving this place you could literally feel the tangible presence of god and i thank god uh, uh, what an amazing experience uh, what an amazing a uh, weave uh, uh, and and the power of god to see the power of god it was amazing precious lord jesus thank you for your grace here go look at me for the amazing experience. It's the first time in my life to be in such an atmosphere. Appreciate God sincerely. It's the first time in my life to be in such an atmosphere where everybody who was in the stretcher and on the wheelchair, they all stood up. Hi, my name is Marissa, and thank you so much for watching Faith Life TV. Stay tuned. As the river, as Nyame Nyame began to flow, partners that we called tributaries yeah. came to, to partner with that river. And when they came, they began to flow into that river. And, and, and the stream actually changed its name from being a stream to become a river. Yeah. Why? Because partners come when there is motion. When there is no movement, no one wants to associate with you. People love to be around men and women that make things happen. Be a river that continues to flow. Believe in yourself first, begin to flow, Take the first step. As you take the first step, tributaries begin to come to that stream. And when they come, uh, we, we've got a place called Yawadzwa in Zimbabwe, where they talk about the, 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 the diamonds that were found in that river. And they were found downstream. And, and they said that there were tributaries that flew in to contribute the diamond. Because as the tributaries come in, as the partners come in, they don't come to something that has not been started. No man will ever pay a tithe in a church that has not been started. No man will ever bring money in a business that has not been started. You need to start with that small idea that you have. Write the vision down and make it plain. Don't write the budget. Write the vision. We are too much concentrated on the budget. I want a million dollar business and I have 10 rand in my pocket. I have 10 dollars in, in my pocket. Start with where you are. And when the rivers begin to come, the tributaries begin to come, God will send men from Germany. God will send men from Australia. God will send men from Canada. God will send men from all over the world to partner with you. Like Jesus when he was born, he was born in a manger. But God had to cause a star to appear to wise men. And wise men had to travel from where they were to come and bring silver, gold, and men to, 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 to give it to Jesus as gifts. And this silver gold, the, these three gifts were managed to sustain Jesus for 10 years, 10 good years. Because when he was two, they took him from Egypt and we hear about him when he was 12. And he was sustained by the three gifts that the wise men brought. Right now, as I speak right now, if you don't believe in yourself, I see some people about to journey towards you. I see some people about to bring the money that you need, about to bring the capital that you need, about to bring the sponsorship that you need for that dream, for that business, for that vision. And it's going to happen by the power of the Holy Ghost through the ministry of angels. 
God wants your dream to be fulfilled more than the way you want it to be fulfilled. He's more concerned about what he wants you to do more than you want it. So as, you, as the partners come, they change your value. They change your value. They change your value. Before it was a stream, it was a river. And now it changes from being a river, it becomes a dam. And the river is continuing to flow. Let the river flow. Let the river flow. As the river is flowing, it gets more capacity. Now when the partners come, automatically what happens? It grows. It begins to take over dormant lands. It begins to talk, take over lands that were there and were not, were not being productive. That's the time you begin to, 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 to take over and to take charge. You are doing it with so much speed and you are taking charge and in that area that God has called you to do, you are beginning to take over. Because partners have come now. They have come with the money. They have come with the material. They have come with the resources that you need. As the river flows like that, as the capacity grows, fish also increase. And fish is a sign of prosperity. Yes. Fish is a sign of prosperity. When the fish is increased, it means that prosperity is increasing. But one thing you need to be careful is this. There are people that were not there when you were starting. You need to mark those wise men who bring gifts. Because uh, there, are, there are two people that came to Jesus, two kinds of people. There are shepherds that came and there are wise men that came. The gifts they bring to you is a sign of what they see in you. The shepherd saw a child in Jesus and they brought pampas, lactogen. But the wise men saw a king and they brought gold. I pray that not only people shall come to you and give you the pampas and the little things that you need, but great men who will see you with a prophetic eye, who bring great things to you. Mark those ones that bow down to you while you have got nothing and you are nothing. Because as the partners come, People, you will now find logs and uh, empty containers flowing on the river now. You are supposed to be able to mark the people that did not believe in you, that want to associate with you because of your glory, who are parasitic. You will find parasitic people starting to come into your life who want to now be with you because of the impact you have done, because of the movement you have, you have done. But mark the people who came first. As the river continues to flow, it flows wider. As the river continues to flow, it flows deeper. It flows deeper. The river flows deeper. How does it flow deeper? As it is flowing, it meets opposition like rocks. It meets rocks along the way. And the reason why the rocks are there, there is no rock that is as deep as the ground. The rocks that it meets, it is, it is giving the river room to flow deeper and to flow wider. Right now, there are people that have been standing in your life trying to block you, and you find people who have been blocking you. But these people are not there to harm you. These people are to help you to drive the roots of your faith deeper. They are helping you to strengthen the foundations of what God wants you to do. Yes. You need these people that are opposing you right now. Because every new level is got a new devil. The fact that you are facing new devils right now is because you are about to enter your new level. You are about to enter your new money making level. You are about to enter new levels of wisdom, new levels of revenue. They are about to come to you. New, new, new numbers in your church. The church is about to expand. As the river is flowing, it flows wider and it flows deeper. It flows wider and it flows deeper. They say that still waters run deep. Yes. Still water. There is a time the river will become a dam and it's, when you look at it, it's like it's still, but the current is flowing down. There's a time when people look at you, they'll think you've got nothing and you are nothing, but you are the man that is making things happen. Yes. You are the talk of the town, the talk of the nation. And the river will be flowing. Let your river flow. Don't allow anyone to despise the days of your small beginnings. Beginning is the matter of finish. It doesn't matter where you are right now. Jesus was born in a manger, surrounded by cows, cattle, and donkeys. But the greatest name we talk about today is the name of Jesus. It does not matter where you were born. What matters is you are here now. You can be what God wants you to be. You can be the best ever. You can be the, 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 the top of the town and the top of the city. Wherever you are and you are watching right now, I'm coming with you to you with a word from the Lord. And the Lord is sending me to tell you that your dream can come to pass. Let the river flow. As the river continues to flow, it gains speed. It gains speed. In life, it's either you grow by addition, you grow by multiplication, or you grow by powers. There's a time the river was growing by addition. The business, the customers were coming one by one, one by one, one by one. The Bible says daily the, the men were added to the church. Then after the, they prayed again, and the, the apostles prayed again, the anointing changed, and they were multiplied. They grew from 3,000 to 5,000. 
So there's a time for addition where God will begin to add, add, add. You go eight, eight plus eight equals to sixteen. That's addition. When it multiplies eight times eight equals to sixty-four. When you grow by powers, it's eight to the power eight equals to sixteen million seven hundred seventy-seven thousand two hundred sixteen. Your growth is not explainable anymore. I prophesy that growth is coming to whatever you are doing now. Whatever you are doing, whatever you find in your hands to do, let growth and speed come into it. As it continues to flow, they put now, now the, the river can't be stopped because it's flowing with so much power. They can't even put a demo around it because it, become, it has become like a lake, like a sea, or like an ocean. It can't be stopped. Anything that tries to come in its way, it will be broken. The Bible says, whosoever shall fall in onto, onto this stone shall be broken. On whosoever the stone shall fall, it shall be ground into powder. This is the time when no weapon formed against you can prosper. Yes. As the river flows like that, it then now changes from being uh, relegated in the background and not known. Like now we're talking about the great Victoria Falls, it's one of the seven wonders of the world. It's a testify infested area. And, and a lot of mosquitoes and a lot of diseases, but people travel to the Bundu, where it's located in the Binga, that people travel from all over the world to come and see this one of the seven wonders of the world. I prophesy over your life, as your river continues to flow and you increase in value, people will travel from all over the world because you are about to become a wonder of the world. Yes. You are about to become, the Bible says, as for me and my sons, we are for signs and for wonders and for miracles and he has made me a wonder god is about to make you a wonder unto men i see a man things have been difficult for you and right now there are things that they wanted to be attached from your house they've been attaching property from your company but there's a priest right now grace is locating you and the river will flow again your river will flow again some of you you have sunk you had a big tender a big contract and the money seems to have been uh, trapped in a place and the, as I speak now, the river will flow and the grace of God is coming over your life and your river will continue to flow. As that river is flowing, you are not going to be a dam, you are not going to be a sea, you are not, you are not going to be an ocean, but you are going to become a wonder of the world. I see people traveling from all over the world to come and see what the Lord is doing through your life. I see them coming from Germany, coming from Australia, coming from all over the world. People from Africa coming to America to see what you are doing. People from Europe coming to Africa to see what you are doing. Because the river is flowing. Let the river flow. Let your river flow. Amen. Let your river flow. As you are watching this thing, angels are right now are coming to where you are. You are being stirred up on your inside and there is an angelic visitation wherever you are. And you feel that the, the anointing and the power of the Holy Ghost were right there where you are. Because God is visiting you and your river, the story of your life is about to change. God is about to bring an after to you before. I see things turning around for your good and better shall be your end than your beginning. It does not matter how your beginning was. Faulty might have been your beginnings, but greater shall be your end. Right now I'm seeing a woman, you, you, you were in business and you were making a lot of money. And you were attacked and you just felt sick. You just felt sick in your body, you just felt sick. And this disturbed the flow of what you were doing in your projects. And you were hospitalized for some time. But as I'm speaking now, number one, the Lord is healing you and He's touching you. Number two, the Lord is bringing restoration to your life. Yes. Everything that you have lost, every contract, every tender you lost, every business opportunity you lost, the Lord is restoring it to you. I see another man in America. You had court cases that you had. And it seems like you were on the losing side. It seems like people, uh, uh, you, you, because you were not equally represented in court, and it seems like you were losing, but the Lord is saying, you do not need to fight in this battle. This battle is mine, says the Lord. It's going to revisit and touch your blessing, and touch your house, and touch uh, everything that concerns you, and that court case, the Lord is fighting for you. The Lord is fighting for you. You're going to be victorious, and you're going to be restored in the mighty name of Jesus, through the ministry of angels, and by the power of the Lord. Thank you, viewers, for watching us today. I believe that the Spirit of God has touched your heart and He has set your life in, on course so that you can become more effective for Jesus Christ. Contact us on the numbers on the screen. Call us. You can email us. We would love to hear from you and to hear what the Lord is doing in your life. We are ready to pray with you and to see you becoming the best that God wants you to be because your destiny matters. Until then, God bless you. We are giving love's a meaning That is what we do We are changing your life The word of God in us For God is right here to lift you He's the same again Your life
Life will never ever be the same Destiny murders Inspiring and prompting Taking you higher You are in you We say destiny matters Yes you can, yes you will Your life will never ever be the same Your life will never ever be the same